Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ming. Um, today I'm going to share my fit lifestyle. Since I've been asked a few times um, what I do for workouts or how I keep my body in shape. So here we go. Honestly, I feel pressured uh, when people ask me that because um, I don't know how or what to share um, about my workouts like it, there's no special um, diet or no special workouts that I'm doing like it's definitely not a big secret or anything um, I've always been a slim figured person except for that one time um, when I was working full time for a whole year and um, you know when you work so much that on your day offs you get so lazy um, yeah that was me and I barely work out and yeah I did gain some weight um, even my my friends and family could see how much I've gained I mean it's not that much it's just that they they were used to seeing me very slim and skinny and then suddenly boom that year um, they saw me again and they were like you gained like you gained weight and of course I know I know here are some photos to show you guys <laughs> From that moment, my mom started to call me a chipmunk because I was always eating, I was always chewing on some snacks and yeah, it's like all the, I would say all the fat <laughs> goes into my face instead of my, I would say my, my chest, my bum. I remember I used to, um, go take out junk food for maybe three times a week yeah I knew at the time that I wasn't doing very well with my health except for always working 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 so I'm just doing um, regular exercises uh, that you can just find on the internet so like squats donkey kicks fire hydrants um, what else hip thrust um, yeah you name it I mean the the exercises that most fitness experts and fitness models use I don't want to sit here and share the wrong information with you guys um, that's why I felt so pressured because I'm not a fitness expert uh, everything that I'm sharing is out of my own personal experience I just do what is good and enough for my body so to be honest I'm not over exercising or um, too strict with being healthy I don't like to push myself too hard you know like of course you gotta push your limits but I hate when I get too exhausted of workouts that really demotivates me um, so like I said I'm just doing what is good and enough for my body uh, I, I like to stay motivated so of course I'm not gonna over exercise or like go too hard <laughs> I've been working out for years but um, it was always on and off and sometimes not always uh, doing the correct exercise or just not doing it in the correct way now I put more effort into my workouts 
I don't know, um, maybe it was because of my breakup, but uh, since last December, I became so motivated um, that I just thought like, this year I really need my body goal. And my body goal is um, having thicker and stronger legs, thighs, having um, an hourglass shape, uh, of course a, a bigger and rounder booty, but of course there's patience and you really need to have some patience if you want to achieve that. So far I've been doing a good job. Um, so. I'm gonna keep on continuing doing what I'm doing right now um, because I can definitely see progress. Sometimes my fitness journey doesn't always go as it's planned. Um, like previous week, I didn't do anything like from Monday till Sunday because I mentally I wasn't in the right place and I felt so demotivated but I picked it up uh, this Monday so yeah it's all good beside working out um, don't forget to have healthy meals um, drink your supplements uh, if you want to gain and of course drink a lot of water stay hydrated you probably want to know what um, exercises that I do uh, but I just want to tell you that I focus more on legs and glutes because I want to grow some booty and legs you know <laughs> I barely focus on my belly because I like I said I've always been a slim figure, figure person um, yeah, and it's also just because of my lifestyle. Um, I walk a lot too, so so maybe try to walk a lot. I will give credits to Vicky Justice because I've been following her um, some of her workouts, and I've learned that glute activation is very important before your booty workout. Um, so don't forget to do that if you are focusing on booty like I said I barely focus on my belly but I I gotta start doing my abs my ab exercises because I truly want my summer body goal when I'm doing my ab exercises I try to do it before bedtime but most of the time I can't even do it because I'm so tired and I just want to go directly to bed um, so I end up not doing them I'm gonna show you which exercises I've been doing lately
even though I don't really like cardio dancing is the only is probably one of the only cardio that I like to do and I just do that in my own room in front of the mirror <laughs> just have a good time with yourself like just turn on some music that you like and just move you know move and just shake yourself out <laughs> i think i'm actually not a good person to look up to you know even though many people said uh they they got inspired by me but <laughs> i snack a lot too i do and sometimes i I'm not being healthy with uh, with my meals. Like some some days I skip dinner. Um, I think it's a good thing like to not eat a lot in like in the evening. But just sometimes I really like eat one time or two times per day, and I know that's not healthy, but. I guess it is what it is. <laughs> I eat a lot of spicy foods. Maybe that's why that I don't really gain a lot of weight. Um, so I try to balance it with spicy food and carbs to like not gain too much but gain enough for what I need. And I'm not really a sweet tooth but Sometimes I do like snack on, you know, candies. Uh, I try not too much because I know that's not good. <laughs> but just balance it out. I don't know what else to say. I'm still figuring things out about my fitness journey. Uh, I hope it was a bit helpful. I'm wishing you good luck. Thank you for listening. I will see you guys in my next video, so see you! <laughs>